Good morning, Jagopal. And good morning, everybody else. Now, the question is, is the media really something that everyone can benefit from? Unfortunately, Jagopal, that's not the case. And the problem is that most of the media in this world is not very good. Anybody who's ever had experience, let's say you go to a hundred movies, how many of them are good? And out of the ones that are good, how good are they really? Let's take a poll. If you think there's more than 50 good movies out of 100, please press 1 on your touch-tone telephone. Call the 1-800 number you see here. If you think it's less than 50 but more than 20, please press 2. And if you think it's, less, you think than it's less than 20 five, but more than 5, than five one, there's please no good movie. If you think it's less than 20, less than 5, please press 3. And if you think it's less than 20, please press 3. And if you think it's less than 20, please press results are just coming in. Oh, most people think there are no good movies at all. That's a shame. Yeah, the problem we're facing today, Jago Paul, is that uh, most uh, media in the world is um, poorly done. Even if the production values are high, uh, there's not much content. It doesn't really speak deeply about the human condition. It's unfulfilling, and it leaves the uh, viewer, the participants, without anything useful. Is there anybody out there capable of making spiritual movies, movies with real substance? We think there is, Jai Gopal. We think uh, the problem is not that there's not enough spiritually minded people out there. We don't think the problem is that there's not enough people with vision. We just think it's a question of them connecting with each other and learning the skills and uh, working with each other so that they can actually manifest uh, very beautiful spiritual media. Now, recently in Alachua, Florida, uh, you know Alachua. Yeah, we're there right now. Yeah. Place we are. So recently in Alachua, Florida, uh, we held a video workshop. The purpose of the workshop was to give the participants uh, confidence in both the technical uh, skills of making a video from the stage of coming up with an idea to script writing, storyboarding, making the props, and in this case puppets, uh, filming the movie and editing. So to give them technical proficiency in all the different stages of making a film. The idea was to give the participants uh, confidence that they could actually make media themselves, that they could get into that more and more, learn it, and come to a professional level and make really excellent spiritually minded media. Sounds like the name of the game is re-spiritualization of the media. Now let's go to the studio and see what people are saying. involved not only in watching something but also in making something to watch. I like the way the kids were able to come up with their own um, the setting. The different puppets, they all had such great features and you know just like from different clothes and jewelry, they came up with these beautiful puppets. Oh my god, it's, it's wonderful. It's so much, you know, creativity, craft. Watch them use their own creativity and their own, uh, apply their own concepts. <laughs> the personalities and the stories, but just to see what I got to see, I was like pretty amazed. I wanted to know how to use a camera, I wanted to know how to make a, uh, you know, make a story. It was, it was very creative, and we had to like, Make things, a lot of things that were just like kind of hard. For for example, I made a cake. Uh, and everybody is talented, but when you introduce those talents or allow those talents to become expressed, it's just in a spiritual atmosphere. It's just a wonderful experience for everyone. Mm -hmm. 
It's really fun working with other children. But it's sort of really hard because you're making a movie in five days, but it's pretty, sometimes if everybody corroborates, then we get work um, done quickly because we did, we were able to do two movies in five days. I liked seeing the young kids working nicely with the older kids and the older kids helping the younger kids. So it was like a lot of team effort, so that was really wonderful. And it also teaches people that you can have friends very easily if you just help them. Like if they need help, lend a hand, help them, and then you have a friend already and everybody just loves doing that. My house, I made a house and, and I didn't want the other kids to paint it, but I let them. They also put a roof on it, but it turned out okay. It was really nice for me to be here with when Radha Priya was doing some of her work and seeing how she interacts with other children and just seeing how her creativity was flowing. So I think it's nice if parents can volunteer also more of their time if they can and so they can work with their children on a cool project like this. And it's a great outlet for parents to involve their children in something productive and worthwhile and vedic. Um, it's like, it will really help you in life a lot, that I think, and can make um, working together is like very important in this workshop, and making the movie was amazing, so. Creativity that has, doesn't have uh, so much boundaries where you really explore new areas of expressing. Just to see what I got to see, I was like pretty amazed. Uh, you know, I highly recommend it for all the parents who have an opportunity to bring their children to a seminar, a workshop, or anything like this pursue it and to contribute as much as possible to it because there are great benefits from doing this kind of thing. Here it teaches you lessons of uh, what you need to know in life. I would say it's a total yes come. <laughs> and sometimes you can meet me here and I can help you and then you can be my friend. Okay, <laughs> should we film it again?